Today I'm going to show you something just so amazing. Not only while I show you about this new desk option, I'm going to multitask and empty the tanks. What's so funny, Michelle? You know you can't multitask. You hear that, Siri? Michelle says I can't multitask. I'm sorry, Brian. Michelle is right. Unfortunately, men are not capable of multitasking. But don't worry. I'm here to help. What do you mean men can't multitask? Wait, did you say you're going to help? Yes, we can do this. We'll show you. Okay, Siri's gonna help us out a little bit. On your phone, use your timer. I set my timer for about 10 minutes, give or take, uh, depending on how full your black tank is. Our tank is about 50% full on our black tank. I've timed this before to see how long it takes, so I'll set my timer between 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, the key here is that it reminds you before the tank overflows, because you don't want water everywhere. I'll set this timer. I'll then know when the tank is getting really close to needing to come out and empty it and fill it back to rinse the black tank. Then I'll start my timer again for another 10 minutes because if your tank is 50% full, you want to fill it back with water over that 50% to rinse everything out. So you want to set your timer about the same again, go out, drain it, and repeat until it comes out completely clean. I've drained the black tank. I've hooked up the separate rinse hose to the black tank. And now we're rinsing the tank, filling it up. And I've set my timer so I won't forget. Work desk options. I'm gonna show you another option that I gave myself. Since I don't have very many options, this gives me the ability to move around in different positions. You may wanna get this little guy. Okay, so this desk, when you hit the right button on the back there, folds up like that and it folds up like that so it's easy to store away. What we really liked about this desk is it has different positions that you can put the height and you can use it sitting at a chair or put it next to your couch and use it as a little end table. It's too high and just put it down. And again, you can put it down even further. What I did here is I took these screws off right here. You got two here, another two here, and another two in here, and then one down in here. You want to take this metal bracket off of here because it is so close to this plastic that if you drill your holes, even though you're trying to be careful, once that your drill bit gets really close to the end, it grabs and wants to shoot through. Not that I would know. Can I do that? Look what you did. Anyway, you take this off and you drill a couple more holes. It comes with three holes. But what we found is that those three holes are not sufficient to get this at the right angle. For example, when I want to use it standing up here, the three levels it came with is this, this, and this. Well, this gets my arms up too high. And this is already at the lowest level. So I needed a couple more angles. First I did this angle and it was okay, but it still has my arms a little cramped. Then I drilled another hole and it's just about perfect. Now, it's got this ledge here so that the laptop will not fall off. I still have all this extra desk space here that I can use, table space, so I can set my drink, have something else here. I can put this back here, you got storage back behind. It just, it kind of helps me remember do some squats or any kind of exercises that you want to do so you're not sitting so much. But this works out perfect. And uh, I also take this desk, I'll sit here and I'll sit here. And then I also have the option of using this at the steering wheel. If I want to open up the window, turn around and face that way. So now over here, I have another option. This will actually slide right under the chair, right up to me. If it's too low, you can adjust it up a little higher depending on how tall you are, and uh, you can set it at different levels. Uh, so now I can actually set stuff here, take my phone, set it there, have it plugged in, charging. I can do things on my phone right here while I'm on here, still have another little desk area. I uh, have a drink holder back here if I want to use it that way 
or if I want to uh, turn around and face this way, and now I can work here. Huh? This little bookmark our granddaughter made us. Um, Shell's got one too of her own. Isn't it pretty? She's such a good artist. But this thing here, you can actually slide over if it gets in the way, and you can move it to this side. As you can see, put my hard drive here on the back side. I have a cup holder over here. Still have a phone holder there. I can adjust this flat so that I have a table to put things on. Easily just move it out of the way when I'm not using it. I can turn this chair, put my desk here. For this table, to work on the steering wheel, you need one of these that has this little handle right here and get you a little anything to tie it around the steering wheel. I just go around it twice with this little uh, bungee and it lets it come down just so far. I can adjust the steering wheel to have more of an angle also to put this just right. And then this also has a little slide out there. If I want to, I can stick my phone in there. Don't really need to. Some of your hard drives will fit in there. I had one kind that would fit in there. Uh, but it gives you a little bit more space. You can also set your hard drive in this little slot back here behind your laptop. And then here's another option for me. And the only reason why I move around like this is just to basically keep my bum from getting sore. This is probably my least favorite position here because the legs hit the chair underneath. But I have managed to just put the legs over the other legs down there like this and uh, set my hard drive there. I can use this little footstool over here. It has a little table to set stuff on. Not as many options as I have in the other two areas, but this works. Um, and it gives me just another place to sit. Yeah, that's another thing that I forgot. Well, you've got your armrest here, but the uh, captain's chair also has adjustable armrests. So you can put your arms at the right height. It'll make you comfortable at your keyboard. I can only handle about so much of standing also and then my back starts to hurt, so I like to keep moving around. Michelle has a full desk, but it doesn't give her those options to stand that we would like to have an adjustable desk over there. And there's our timer. Let's see what our uh, black tank is at here. 62%. Well, there you go. Sometimes it'll fill up a little faster than other times. But the main idea and the main purpose here is that you did not overfill it and have water going everywhere. All right, there's that timer again. Uh, make yourself a note in your phone so you don't forget. For your black tank, how long it takes to fill it to a certain percentage, and your fresh tank, how long it takes to fill it to a certain percent. I'm gonna set my timer for, say, four minutes. And, uh, and yeah, four minutes. I can't remember four minutes. Will, I will forget, I'll forget. So I'm gonna set my timer anyway. Somebody could come and talk to me while I'm out there and I'll forget. You never know. It'll happen to you someday. You just wait. So, our fresh tank is at 33%. Black tank's at 79% because I've been sitting here talking all this time and I need to go empty it. But that's okay. I just filled it up a little further and cleaned it out just a little bit further up. Nothing wrong with that. We're leaving our gray tank open because we're doing laundry. Because when you do laundry, that can fill up pretty quick. But in order to fill the fresh tank, you gotta flip that lever over. Now before I forget, because I will, I'm gonna set my timer. Roll it down here to four minutes, hit start, because I only wanna fill it maybe 25 to 30% more, somewhere in that area, it doesn't really matter. We like to use our fresh tank to help give us extra water pressure. How's work going? It's going good. Tell everybody why you have the TV on when you work. Background noise. But she's got it muted right now for me. Yeah, it's either <laughs> background noise, like the TV, um, or I listen to the music on my iPhone. Yeah. Just so. Otherwise, the silence can be annoying. Now I put some quick connects on here. They really come in handy. I got some cheaper ones from uh, I think it was Home Depot in the garden area. Now when you disconnect this, water is going to squirt all over. So what I do is I kink the hose and then take it off and then let go of it. 
Yeah, I've gotten water on myself before. A nice thing I like about these zero G hoses, being so flimsy, they're easy to roll up. Now I always take the hose and just roll it up, starting from this end first so all the water drains out of it. And let's stick it in here. So back to the table here, and just to give you an example of how hard this is or how easy it is, however you want to look at it. Set this up, simple as that, and then this red lever underneath, put it at the right height. So there it is, that's my setup that I use for my desk space. Gives me a, quite a few different options as you can see, and uh, keeps me from getting sore and stiff from sitting in one place all day because I do put in a lot of hours. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and the little bell. We'll see you next week in the next video. Oh,